All right, guys, we're here, episode 12 Ooh. of the Ask Eric podcast. Come on. Episode 12, 12 Disciples. Is there a Ooh. common denominator there? Probably. Probably. We're about to talk about fasting. Yes. Okay. And uh, primarily Alabama fasting from the national championship. Well, I'm so sure. So I'm upset about that. We're about religion and football. Yeah. So I'm going to think they did that for religious purposes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, all I can say is uh, fasting from a national championship is not primarily as important as the rest of what we're going to talk about today as far as fasting. It's not. So I don't, I don't, I would say uh, fasting from a national championship shouldn't be something that's considered again after this year. No. Uh, so rock no. and roll, all the Auburn fans out there going, we do it every year. Yeah, they, We fast from the national championship every year. Yeah, and hey, that doesn't make y'all super Christians. <laughs> it does not. <laughs> it does not. Um, Fasting. Beyond the, the national championships, Yes. what does the Bible say about fasting? Yes. So uh, I think it's Matthew 6. Yeah, it is. Matthew 6, 16, something like that. Uh, it makes the statement that, that it says when you fast. Right. So it's almost like this uh, assumption. Yeah, pretty much. Like, hey, we know you're going to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think in our culture today, uh, most of us don't do it because we don't understand it. Right. And then uh, I think there's a whole group of people who actually do it and don't realize that what they're doing is not actual biblical fasting. Right. So I will uh, jump in. I guess, and, and say this initially up front before we get to some of the questions that came in with the ultimate question it was, okay, what, what about fasting? I think there's like four questions with that. Um, number one though, spiritual fasting, like biblical fasting right. is not a diet. Come on. You, you hear about it right now all the right. time with that intermittent fasting and all that stuff like that. That's not what you're doing when you, when you, when you are going, I'm, I'm going to intermittent fasting for, Weight loss. Right. That's not a spiritual diet. Now, can it be used as that? Maybe you can make a play for that. But the majority of people are not making space for God in their life. Right. They're trying to take pounds off of their body. Right. So right. just up front, spiritual fasting, like biblical fasting, is not a diet. Although weight loss is associated. It probably will be. Especially you think, if you do it for a, a length of time. Do you think that's like a spiritual be. gift? Of losing weight? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Could I think I, if there is one, I'd love to have it. Yeah. You can't I'd love be, to have the spiritual gift of losing weight. They say weight. there's two things you can't be too much of. You can't be too skinny. Okay. And you can't be too rich. Ooh. So. I don't know that I believe either one of those. You could get anorexic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you could get. I think there's some people that are too rich and they're this is what like you the who do. they on the who. And yeah. yeah, yeah. Dropping COVID. Who knows what yeah. they're doing? I don't you know? know. I guess it's that's all, a little, all that you... Uh, that's a little too rich. What you do with all you have. Yeah. And then you're making a lot of decisions if you're on that level. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 100%. You probably... Anyways, you could probably be a little too rich. <laughs> you probably a little, could. A little too much power. You probably could. Yeah. You probably could. So what you can't get too much of is a biblical fast, right? Yep. Um, it's a, I'd say it's like a discipline, right? The way they reference it. No, oh, absolutely. I th it's like yeah. uh, prayer or tithing. Yeah. Bible reading, anything. Yep. And uh, I think initially when you do a, when you do a, a biblical fast, uh, initially that first one's going to be difficult, you know? So I wouldn't do like a 21 day fast if you've never done one before. Right. You know, uh, I wouldn't do a, uh, a Jesus 40 day fast type deal. If you've never done one before, like I would, right. I would start off slow because it's a habit. It's a, it, it's a habit that you formulate. Uh, and basically here's, here's the reason for the formulation of the habits. The same reason for making a habit of reading your Bible. Well, you can't hear what God has to say if you don't read what he has to say. Right. So it's a habit that you're creating of reading the Bible to hear what God has to say to you. Right. And the same thing is, true with fasting is fasting is this habit of you telling your mind and you telling your body 
that you need the presence of God more in your life than you need anything else right. in your life, right? So whether that's food, whether that's a fast from social media, I know we'll talk about that in just a little bit as far as is it primarily food. Did, uh, uh, Jesus, he did a water fast at one point, didn't he? Well, at some, at some point, Jesus was, uh, Jesus was a beast. Yeah. Now, I had a, I had a pastor in college uh, that went on a 40 day fast, like no eating for 40 days. Mm. And uh, there was a whole lot of changes in his life. I bet. You know, and a lot of them, some of them were medical. Like, I mean, like that's a, that's a crazy deal. Now, so Jesus is a beast. And I don't think that Jesus is going, okay, well, the requirement is the same thing I did. Oh, absolutely not. Um, look at his, uh, look at his death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he endured more than any of us. Yeah. So he can be there for any of yeah. us. So I don't. No, we don't need to be like Jesus. I, I would strongly pray about that. And you would have to have like an understanding of like, God. God wants me to do this before right. you walk into that. That's I right. would say. Um, but I do think fasting is assumed as a follower of Jesus. So if you are a follower of Jesus, fasting has to be a habit in your life. And you're not going to be that great at it to begin with. You know, you're not going to understand it to begin right. with. So, so basically, in a nutshell, what fasting is, is this. It's me making room in my life for God to show up and work. Right. Right. So do I need, do I need him in this decision that I have to make more than I need that cheeseburger I'm going to eat for lunch? Do I need him in my parenting, right, more than I need an hour and a half on social media decompressing from the day? Do I need, so it's this whole idea of what do I need more? Right. And those seasons of fasting that you go into as a follower of Jesus is you reminding yourself, primarily your mind, right? That you need God more than you need anything else. So whatever it is that I'm fasting from, I need God more than I need anything else. And then you use those seasons, like if you're fasting from food. So now you lose, you use that, that breakfast hour, you use that lunch hour, you use that dinner hour, whatever that is. And that's the time that you go, you know what, God, I'm giving this up because I need you. Right. Not, not because I'm, I'm gaining more access to you. Not because you love me more because I'm giving up these, you know, French fries and chicken nuggets. Right. I, I mean, not that, but I'm giving this up to tell you and to show you and to remind myself that I need you in my life more than I need any of this. Um, so I do think there's a couple of reasons why you fast, mm -hmm. uh, especially for me. Uh, there, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, I think um, the biggest one for me is to get clear direction. Right. So like big decisions that okay. you have to make, whether that's, you know, in life, whether that's work, career, whether that's financial, um, whatever it is, spiritual decisions. If you need clear direction, then I think fasting is a good idea. And I think you can see that biblically too. Um, when, when you look through stories in scripture of people fasting, mm -hmm. there's, there's multiple stories in there where it talks about, okay, well, they went on a three day fast right. to, to make sure that, that ultimately they got released from bondage or they got led in a certain direction. And I think to understand your clear direction on what you're supposed to be doing in that particular area, I think fasting helps. And the reason it helps is because it cuts out all the clutter. Right. Because when you, especially with food, so you take a, a three day fast from food. Well, day one, you're just hungry. Right. Right. And you're going, Oh man, I just wait, you know, day two, you have a massive headache. Right. And it's like, yeah. oh, you're detoxing, I guess, from everybody else or everything yeah. else that you've been putting in your body. Day three, you start to go, okay, now I can see, you know, I can see clearly now. The hunger is gone. The hunger is gone. <laughs> <laughs> so I think clear direction is a big one. The pain. Um, the pain, the hunger pains are gone. I do think um, when you start talking about having to make a massive decision, you reminding yourself that you need God in that massive decision mm -hmm. is a powerful thing. You know, so like church wise, if, uh, if there's a massive decision that comes up, um, you can pretty much go ahead and bet you're, that there, there's fasting. a fast going on in my life because so you make fast decisions, make fasting decisions. There we go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to, yeah. uh, because the truth of it is, is I can't lead this thing. Right. 
Like, I don't have the power in me to lead the church the way God wants it to be led. I don't. And I don't know how that makes everybody feel, like you, especially if you come to church with you, to hear right. a pastor say, well, I don't have the power to lead this. Uh, but you don't either. You don't have the power no. to lead your family the way he wants you to lead your family. You don't have the power to lead your business the way he wants you to lead your business. You don't have the power to, to lead a life that follows him without the power that he puts in you. The, right. Bible, the Bible says that he puts the desires and the ability to follow him in your heart. Right, so it's not even me that want that that has this massive desire to follow him. It's it, he put that inside of me. Right, and if I take him out of the equation, then I've lost the whole purpose. Right, and I think fasting clears your heart, it clears your mind, and it gives you that clear direction on where you're going. And I think that's a powerful one. Um, so you think just every time you feel a little hungry, you got a, a headache that comes up or your stomach growls a little bit, it's just a constant nudge of, hey, let's get back in prayer. Yeah. And I'm yeah. thinking fasting probably also is going to keep you in more of a constant prayer because you got more going on with your body oh, yeah. than you're used to. Yeah. Yeah. So we went over uh, a little bit of how to fast, or not really mm -hmm. how to fast, why to fast, how yeah. to fast. Yeah, to some degree. Yeah. And what the Bible says about it. Um, what if you're dealing with somebody that has some medical concerns? They're not sure. Oh, yeah. That maybe they have diabetes. Maybe yeah. they're pregnant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we want to go over that because the last thing we want to do is to give anybody advice that puts them in a, a bad medical state or their unborn baby. Yeah. So in those instances, what would you advise? I mean, I think that's a, that, that's a you talk to your doctor thing. You know, talk I do think, doctor. I do think there's those conversations that probably have to happen. But the other thing is it doesn't have to be food that you fast from. Right. You could do the Daniel fast even. You could. Yeah. So you take out certain parts Which of your is diet. basically vegetables and water, right? Yeah. Yeah. You could fast from sugar. Yeah. You know, I mean, we probably all need a little sugar. I need detox. to fast from sugar. You know, <laughs> I think for I multiple probably reasons. Need to it don't even too. have to be spiritual. I that, don't need to do that, that probably goes back to the beginning yeah. of I need to fast from sugar for a diet, not from just a spiritual standpoint. But I do think some of that stuff, you can, you can do that. Um, right. So if you have a medical deal and you can't, you can't go without eating. Like, I get that. Uh, and I don't think you should feel any less than because you can't do a fast from food. Right. So if you've had these conversations with your doctor and they're going, I, I wouldn't recommend that. Then, I mean, how many other things do you spend your time doing during the day that's a time hog, you know, that's an attention hog, that you mm -hmm. can get rid of. My wife told me, and I can go ahead and tell you, I know she's yeah. wrong because I've done uh -oh. a, I've done a fast of, from food. Yeah. So I know she's not accurate about this, but uh -oh. she told me Better that she it. thinks it would be harder for me to fast from solitaire. Okay. No, I'm sorry, from spades, not spades. Solitaire. Spades. I was about to say, you still doing that thing? No, I'm, doing, I'm playing spades online. Yeah. I do that in the mornings yeah. when I'm trying to just wake up. Yeah. And then sometimes I do it when I'm laying in bed. And yeah. that's really it. And she thinks it'd be harder for me to fast from spades. Come on. Than uh than food. Yeah, so if there's any spade players out there. Come on, you, you feel the you feel the pro you feel the pressure. I feel the pressure. Yeah. And you know, if y'all want to get beat. Uh oh. Look there's up. the challenge. So uh No, I think that's true though, because how many how many people in our culture right now are addicted to social media? So you just sit hours on your phone just scrolling, 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 yeah. scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. You That'd know? be a tough one to get off of. It would be. Um fasting from certain types of TV shows. Yeah. Yellowstone. Oh, uh, Yellowstone. That's probably a good one to fast from <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a whole nother podcast. But I do think like you can see it especially in kids. So there for, there for a little while, uh, Lawson, my middle kid, my only son, he, uh, he started waking up during the night with nightmares, you know, and mm. we figured it out of where it was coming from. And it was the nightmare before Christmas, you know, a uh, little movie, a little, who, who, I know we just watched it. I mean, it's an incredible movie. Like I, I watch it. It's awesome. It doesn't affect right. me, but it affected him. So now when I'm, when we're looking for movies to watch, well, guess one, that, which one we don't click on? Nightmare Before Nightmare Christmas. Before Christmas. Mm. And, uh, and I think, you know, certain TV shows, when you start to feel your spirit kind of get heavy and depressed and anxious, 
then look and check your surroundings and see what it is. And maybe you just go, you know what? We're going to, we're going to go without that season of Yellowstone. We're going to go without yep. that season of whatever else, you know, that we're watching. Uh, YouTube. Dexter. You remember that one? Oh yeah. You remember everybody that? Everybody loved it. Man, everybody. Movie. And then I was going, when's the next season? And it never came out. I was like, well, whatever. Yep. That's cool. But I mean, there, there is a real. He left on a high note. Like, he did. <laughs> Is that, he left you one. Basically, like if Tom Brady would have left three years ago. Right? Oh my goodness! <laughs> uh oh. So that I think there's there's a whole bunch of ways that you can fast, and they don't have to be from food, right? And it can still be uh, a discipline that you use. Sure. Um, if you get to wanting to pick up your phone, yeah. Then hey, guess what? You just got rid of your Netflix subscription. Uh oh. Say a prayer. Save some money. Say a prayer. And go ahead and say, you know what? Let me give that subscription money. Uh oh. Why not? Yeah. Come on, we try, we're trying to build lunch. a building. Yeah. If you're fasting from lunch, come on. Are we going to serve with that time? Yeah. That's an hour of service. Yeah. You could do something. You could go yeah. talk to some people, do whatever. Or you could say, hey, I just saved $23 a day. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and give that up. Yeah. And let God work in your life a little bit more. Do that on Absolutely. top of fasting. Yeah. You might be surprised. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. 100%. So. 100%. Lawson's having the nightmares. Yeah. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Because it's not good for his heart. Like, we talk about that a lot around is, the Bradley house. Is he a little more technologically advanced than you were at his age? Oh, absolutely. How would taking that away from him do? As be far as not watching? be about impossible to take away the tablets and stuff? Oh, well. It would be impossible of uh, – it would almost be impossible to tell them, hey, we're not going to sit down and watch a movie because that's kind of a, a thing. So there are probably certain people. Yeah. Adults. Oh, absolutely. That it would be harder to take that away. Absolutely. Than food. 100%. So if you have a medical issue, find the, uh, find the movie in your life. Yeah. And yeah. don't press play. Yeah. And save you some subscription money. That's right. Come on, we That's did right. that after uh, after Alabama killed Auburn in the Iron Bowl. Uh, we shut off Hulu. Oh, yeah. You know, and Cheyenne's like, well, why are you shutting off Hulu? And I'm going, well, we ain't going to make it to the national championship, so football's over for me. I'm done. <laughs> done with you it. You know, and then I'm sitting there this past Saturday, and I'm going, man, I wish I had Hulu back. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm watching TCU get beat, and then I'm going, man, Alabama gets a chance, and I'm going, nope, they're fasting. I forgot we were fasting. Yeah. I actually sent you a text. I said, you hey, did? man, you we're did. about to be back in there. I know. And then, and uh, we then didn't. we're fasting. Yeah. 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 We're spiritual like that though. That's right. That's right. Um, <laughs> whenever you're, whenever you're getting spiritual like that and getting on the, the yep. fast track, how, uh, how long and how often you think you should do that? Fast. Mm -hmm. I, I guess that probably depends, you know, on, on you. I do think, if you formulate the habit of whenever I have a massive decision to make, uh, your life's filled with massive decisions, mm -hmm. you know? And I think if you made that a habit of, of fasting uh, for a day, fasting for two days, fasting for three days, I think the three-day fast is probably the, the best. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you made that a habit, then you'll find yourself doing that often. Because, I mean, you, you have decisions that you make with kids all the time. You have decisions that you make with work all the time. You have decisions that you make with family all the time. Like, how are we going to, you know, going into Christmas right now, how, how are we going to relate to that family member who always takes us off when we mm. go up there? We always get in a fight every single year, you know, hey, about something stupid. if you're fasting stupid. and you get mad, you can blame it on being hangry. <laughs> you can blame it on, I'm trying to be spiritual, but I will punch hungry, you in the face. Yeah. Um, you know, I think if you if you're fasting about how to handle that situation how to walk into it then i think that creates this not necessarily constant you're not doing it every day um but to develop a habit you do have to set up certain times right you know to do it so is that hey i'm going to do an extended fast for you know once a year mm -hmm. so i'm going to take 21 days and i'm going to go with no technology mm. Or no social media, because I get in the world we live in, you probably can't go to work and not have technology. Uh, yep. But you can get off of social media. You know, you can get off of TikTok, you can get off of Snapchat, right. you can get off of Instagram, you can get off of all of that stuff. Um, and just go, okay, once a year we're gonna get away from that. Twenty one days, I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a, a priority. If I 
because most people wake up in the mornings, they reach over, they cut their alarm off on their phone, mm-hmm. they pick it up, and they open social media. Mm. I open my uh, spades, trail cameras. Oh, trail cameras. <laughs> <laughs> but if we took that, though, we took that moment, we said, okay, well, now I'm going to open up the Bible app. Yeah. You know, I mean, that sounds super spiritual. And you're going, well, I mean, like, what can that do? I don't know. What can 21 days, yeah. once a year? You opening the Bible app and reading a 21-day Bible plan every single morning. What could that do? I don't know. Try it. I opened the, I'm going to try it tomorrow. You know? I might get yeah. blessed with a big buck when I you, open that up You second. might. You might. I got to start putting God first. You might. Yeah. I'm telling you. So, it's a big deal. Speaking of the 21 days and all, I've, mm-hmm. it's been rumored that you've done an extended fast. How did you function? How did you function? I mean, I think after, like I said earlier, I think after the first couple of days, you stop really the pains Mm -hmm. and the headaches and all they kind of, they kind of leave you Mm -hmm. and clarity starts to come. And then it just becomes that, I guess, habit of every day. I know that I'm going to wake up from, from this day to this day, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to go without. Right. Uh, So I do think that's a, that's a big deal. Big deal. So just so you press through. You weren't just feeling press through. You're feeling a little bit of it or not? Oh, yeah. No, okay. you feel it. Because I, I did when, a... When my belly's empty, it, I feel it. I did a I few. And at first, they were not spiritual. Mm-hmm. Then it wound up turning spiritual. Then I did a seven-day. And yeah. I, thought, I thought that was pretty extreme. Oh, yeah. So how you got past that threshold, I'm yeah. not sure. I was, that's tough, I'm sure. Oh, man. I feel like... Uh, that pain though, it just, it, it reminds you back to, and not, not to get all like Jesus juking you, but it reminds you of what Jesus went through anyway. And the Bible says he was beat to the point where he didn't even look like a man. Mm-hmm. So me going without food for three days and, or seven days or 10 days or 21 days or whatever, like the pain of that you still doesn't look, even compare. Yeah. You still look like a man, you know? I mean, yeah, you still look like one. Yep. And, and that 21 days, the focus of that becomes now I need you more than I need anything else. Right. Um, and that's, that's true. Even if you, you can't, you get in that situation where you can't fast from food, you need Jesus more than you need Instagram. Yeah. And I think like, I mean, you're doing what God's desiring you to do. Mm-hmm. He sees what you're to, giving up for him. Yeah. To focus on so him. He's going to give you grace. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I think, uh, if you're in the middle of it and you have a little breakdown and, you had a meal. Yeah. All right. That's not the purpose of it. Yeah. But if you do that, God still sees your struggles. Mm-hmm. So he's not, he's still going to appreciate what you're doing. Absolutely. I mean, giving up food. it's that's the heart of that. Yes. It's the heart of the reason why I'm doing it. That's why we, we kicked it off initially and said, well, a, a biblical fast isn't for losing weight. Right. Because if I'm fasting with the heart of my fast to lose weight, that that's not me desiring God more in my life. Nope, that's um, desiring your looks, appearance. Yeah, yeah, the the pounds on the scale dropping down. Um, it's a little idolish. So even if you lose, that's like reading your Bible, okay? Where you're going you're gonna to have a habit of reading your Bible. You're going to wake up one day and you're not going to read it. That's right. Well, he ain't looking at you going, I mean, you messed up. Right. You messed up. You can't, I don't even love you anymore. Like, we're through. You know, he's not doing that. No, he's just happy when you open it up again. Yeah, that's yeah. the big focus is how, to, how fast... How quickly do you get back to opening it back up? Right. And I think that's that's a major deal, especially when it comes to fasting too, because you'll lose it. Yeah. You know, you'll you'll drop something. You'll you'll wind up eating that French fry from your kids. You know, mm-hmm. I hate buying food for my kids and I'm not eating it. Yeah. I Here's think that's like, why you gain a lot of weight when you have kids. I get knocked down, but, but I get, I get up, up again. again. You're never gonna keep me down. Never. Get knocked. Down. <laughs> Up we could. We, <laughs> I think I know almost every word to that song. That's a good one. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but. Hey, it says it that it if is. you uh, eat a French fry <laughs> and you're fasting. Get back up again. You don't get the whole bag of fries. Come on. You just get up from the table. That's right. Get up again. That's right. Yeah. Get up again. Yeah. I so, love it. Ain't nothing like love a good it. fast. Mm. It's hard. It is but hard. It's worth it. But hey, it's worth it. It's worth it for what we're doing it for. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. So I guess 
Is that going to wrap us up for Come 12? On, I, I think that sums us up. I mean, we've gone over a lot. We have. We talked about There's a lot the of info. I think you need to research concerns. that. If you have some issues, yeah, research. go to the doctor, research, especially if it comes to food, you know, research what, what would work best. And whether you do or do not have the concerns, you might mm -hmm. want an accountability partner. Yeah, you're oh, not yeah. supposed to tell people. It says it in the Bible, but you're going to have to tell some people, oh, like you know. your wife. Mm -hmm. And there might be two or three people we just have to tell for whatever reason. Yeah. Or maybe you're fasting with somebody. Yeah. But it's not bad to have accountability partners no. that are going through the same thing. Mm -mm. And you need your wife to know. Oh, yeah. I was doing a little fast the other day. It didn't it didn't make it through the day. Yeah. Because we were reading a book in the Bible, and I wound up reading it by lunch. So I was free that day. Yeah. And um, good thing I did because my wife came in with a bunch of chicken for me to grill. Come on. You know, because I didn't tell her. Oh, yeah. So that would have been, that would have been tough. Yeah. yeah. You grilling chicken and everybody else eating it except yeah. for you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah. I do think it's a habit, though. So just wear it whenever that, like, talk talk to the Holy Spirit. Let him tell you, uh, hey, here's how often that I want you to do it. Right. Uh, and just formulate a habit. Okay, well, I'm doing going to do it an extended one once a year uh, i'm gonna do a short one you know every i don't know every quarter mm -hmm. you know a three-day fast every quarter or seven-day fast every quarter and then every big decision like i think i think if you start there you'll get you'll get to where the habit is formulated right if you look at your life and go, every big decision, I'm going to fast because I want Jesus to be at the center of that, and I need his wisdom and guidance more than I need anything else. Um, I think that habit is going to be built, and then you can extend that and go however far you believe Jesus is telling you to go. Yep. Go up to 40 days. Hey, I can, hadn't got there. You going for it? Mm, I have I have not been told by the Holy Spirit that I need to go 40 days. <laughs> not been told. But I think that option is, I mean, if he ever says it, then I got to do it, you yeah. know, because it's the obedience. That's and right. I think that's that whole Matthew 6 is when you fast. Yep. Like it's expected. If I went for 40 days right now, it'd be the 40 for 40. Come on. Because I'd drop 40 pounds 40 for pounds. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So uh, he didn't tell me that either. He hadn't told me to go past seven. Come on. And. Whenever I do start to do it, he normally tells me, hey, you're getting hungry. Mm -hmm. That's the part you got to fight through. That's mm -hmm. that first day. Huh? Oh, yeah. That's the first day. And then you get that headache. Oh, gosh. A little brain fog. Painful. Painful. Clarity comes in the morning. Once though. you fight through the pain. Yeah. 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 Comes in the morning. So, yeah. I love it. Y'all try it out. Let us know if it's doing something good for your yeah. life. Submit some more questions. Yeah. And we will. I will see y'all next week. All right. Peace out. Thank you.